Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I haven't done this in a while, so very nice to be here and, uh, you know, record some content. So, uh, if you guys don't know what happened is, uh, I mean, I've been working on uh, my streams lately. That's why you get all of this, you know, this cool overlay. I was working on my stream and unfortunately, uh, I've been running into some issues. Specifically, connection issues. I've been disconnecting a lot. Now, I don't know if, you know, my internet's not strong enough or if it's some hardware issue but i'm trying to eliminate it one by one and i think it's the internet unfortunately so seeing as uh i can't get better connection where i live yet um i might as well you know go back to doing some more youtube videos vod's all right so for today's video this is the game it's called observation and I downloaded this game quite a while back. I didn't get to play it, but I n had a feeling it might be something special. Uh, basically, imagine uh, being, I forgot what the AI was called, HAL or whatever, being an AI in a space station. You are the AI and something mysterious has gone wrong. That's what I read basically, but uh, you and I are gonna experience this together for the first time. This is my first time playing it. I, there shouldn't be a resume game, never tried it. So here we go. Look at that, we got transitions now. That's all courtesy of the stream that uh, hasn't been working right. So today we're uh, moving to doing this. Oh, forgot there's like an event bar at the bottom. That's all from my stream. I'll remove that later on. But anyways, uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully it's not scary. I'm not up to playing a scary game. Okay, getting some random static. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh. to uh, edit this so you guys uh, so I don't bother you guys I'm gonna try that for a bit make it a little bit more transparent um, we'll figure it out later on it's my first video back but anyways uh, moving back God. Hey, space Hello? station. Sam. Houston, I have no response from Sam. Can't move anything, I'm trying. Oh! Hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna move this again. I think my face is in the way of everything. Maybe that's a bit better. Me on the bottom. Not really intrusive. Okay, Sam. I need you to give me admin access. Enable voice authentication. Doctor Emma Fishner, one three zero four one two. Okay. Analyzing. Print errors detected. Try it again. Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. 
Because it said, you know, it said there were some errors. I'm not going to say yes when there's some errors. What if she's an imposter? She's an imposter. There you go. See, match confirmed. Okay, okay, good. There we go. Oh, so, yeah, we're the AI, basically. We're the, um... Sam, are you there? Respond. Oh, Sam, System Administration and Maintenance. That's us. Wow, you can respond. Okay. I am here. <laughs> okay. Thank God. Pretty cool. Pretty cool concept so far. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Okay. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Holy crap, okay. Um, module 9, she said. She said she needed hull. And pressure. Oh, okay. Hull contacts true, safe, low power. Copy. Now we just... Oh, whoops. Oh, we can repeat. repeat your previous request. I need diagnostics on the adjacent modules. I don't know if it's safe to open these doors. Power in module 9 is limited. That's not important right now. She said hull and pressure, right? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. Okay, so I just have to hold R and respond to her. How's the pressure in 9? The pressure Module safe. Nine is it's chill. Fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. The pressure. That's probably what? Atmospheric pressure? Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Copy that. Give me a second. Let's see the hull pressure points in the other modules. Pause. No match. Oh. Module 10. Hull contact points to 12 read false, suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Oh, there we go. Our first. The hatch door is jammed shut. Okay. What do you want me to do? The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Why is it eerie? Sam, you still there? I'm... I'm glitching. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Whoa, whoa, Sam, whoa, 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 whoa. what is that? Bring her. Can I like decline that? I don't want to accept that. Bring her to where? To the planet? Are is it aliens? Are we? Uh... Yo, what if it's like aliens that are um you know hacking the AI? Okay, game is off to a rocky start. Oh my god, is she dead? There's a lot of visuals here, I can't really do much. By the way, those black bars are there in the game as well, so I'm not cropping anything, guys, I swear. Everything you see is everything I see. What just happened? Are you okay, Dr. Fisher? I, oh, I think I blacked out. Run your self-diagnostic procedure. Copy. And what errors are you showing? Run some diagnostic. Oh, 
it's a really interesting concept, you know, kind of like we're relocation functions are offline. I require like auto we're, um... to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Okay, cool. Recoder. Alright. So now I'm just uh, diagnosing 95% degradation. That sounds horrible. Ni oh my god. Sam! The main memory core has been corrupted. Wow. I have lost significant station data. Yeah, about okay. 90%. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Uh, yeah. Failed. I'm just holding down the mouse button. Location sensor array, we can do that. It's kind of like a puzzle game, and I like this. It's like, I think anyone can play this. You don't need, you know, uh, athleticism, component like, is online. fast okay. reactions, That's like good. Call of Duty or something. What else? Like, you can just play this The vital sign chill. telemetry component is online. Oh, great. What isn't working? Let me the just give you everything that's working. The component is online. Uh, but we still can't access it. Any errors? The connection between crew tracker functionality and Sam OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. Right. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Yep. You better get to central Josh? then. Fisher. May? Anyone? What was her name? Diana Fisher? Am I just making that up? Shit. Okay. I forgot her name. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module nine. Override the hatch from module nine, okay. You gotta pay attention to this game. Auto routing you back to the utility hub in module nine. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Okay, we move, switch camera, possess fear if available, disconnect to Sam OS. Response mode, system links. Show status screen, okay. Run a test of cameras and system links. Okay, move cameras. Okay, interesting. The sad W keys. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Okay, now we can switch cameras. Oh, that's pretty good. Kind of like, um, what's it called? Five Nights at Freddy's? You switch cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. Nice. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. You can't tap the, uh, but anyways, system link reset. Shows terminal input code that allows a crew member to reset sound system link on the device of failure. It's our full reset, okay. Oh, nope. Okay. I've done that for you, that madam. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Hatch controls? Okay, hold on. Hatch controls should be... Let's try the laptop. Good, good. Okay, have Looks to put like that's tools. working. Add another. Add another? Alright. 
Whoa. Uh. Why is it all glitchy, man? Okay, that's the only entry in the laptop. Second laptop. Let's go ahead and... Cannot. Uh... Okay, hold on guys, it's a bit slow. What are, what are my objectives? Locate system links. There you go. Hatch control. Put in the code 341. I think okay. it's chill, but then it's going to get now intense heard later on. Airlock hatch controls. So, like, all the way over there. Um, at the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls, I need to get out of here. Where is the EAS-11 hatch control, though? Oh, that's EAS-8. Oops. Alright, that's EAS-11. Let's see what happens if you just... There we go. Use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Okay, give me a second, madam. I opened this one, so I don't want to... I don't want to hurt you. Let me try to close this first. I can't close it, guys. She's gonna die. Close! It won't close. Okay. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to just live with EAS-8 open. Nice. Good work, Sam. Thank you. Okay. Let's this. get this up and running. All right, for sure. Yeah, I think this Josh. first episode is gonna be a bit more longer, me, guys, than the next one. Oh, I hate these things. Hey, Fisher. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? Sam, our internal communication network is fully online. Hmm. Where has everyone gone? Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh, okay, station station alerts. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Okay. Oh, what is that? Enter? Spacebar. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Is it here? Give me a second, lady. To find that fire. The fire. Oh, there's the fire. Okay. 
can I do? Please repeat your previous instruction. The alarm is showing a fire. Find the fire and tell me where it is, Sam. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way. Out of control fire. So well. Two one. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Schematic. Okay. Don't know how to do that yet. Okay. Wh what am I supposed to do here? Oh, we can see here. Sam, the hatch in EAS six is locked down. Can you get it open for me? Yes, yeah, six, copy that. Oh, I'm right here. One second, Emma. It's Emma, right? Yeah, that was her name. It's open. I'm on my way. She needs to, um... Relocate to EAS-3. I'll need your help when I get there. Copy. Ooh, it's so cool, we can see, like... What do you need? Yeah, you should... Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Yep. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? Wait, wait, I'm not ready. One, two, three. There you go. Come on! Whew. I mean, it, it's a bit tense, guys. Like, maybe you don't see it, but... Okay, how? Vent fumes in EAS4. How do I vent it? Lady, tell me how do I vent it? I mean, sometimes they tell you as if I'm supposed to know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Oh, there we go. Um, four, three, two. System linked. Turn it on. There you go. That's it. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. Yes, ma'am. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad. Considering. Right. Considering how everything else is a bit messed what up. Started it. What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. LFE1 panel. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. I'll be careful, Emma. Uh, I've, I've like she's not wearing a helmet, I'm kinda scared. The side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Alien juice. Dark red. Blood. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh come on. What now? Sam, give me a statement. Alien. Uh There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, 
Make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. What? This is getting much worse. Like, I don't know if... No, I don't think it's the game glitching. Sam, I think actual Sam is glitching. Procedure. First, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Oh, okay. One, four, four, two, four, one, three, three, two, four. That should be it. Two, nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Ah. Uh. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. We don't have much time. Go, go, go. I'm, I don't know, ma'am. All right, give me a second. Woo! All right, that was not true. damage structural damage s12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage it's like a hole has been cut out of it what would do that alien yeah, i'm still in the uh, alien mindset all right, let me see if there's anything else down here, maybe. Wow, we can see the whole station from here. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Okay, after we do this, I think that's going to be the end of part one. There is I don't want this to be too long. There is exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. Okay, what else we got? Uh, this one's glitchy. Did we do that? We did that already. Moving on to the next one. Is the panel broken? CN arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact, though. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Okay. Oh my God, Sam. That's what? How did we get here? We're not even close to Earth. Saturn? We're in Saturn? <laughs> I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, at least that's a good way to end the first episode. Oh, and you get 
the uh, intro. So we're not on Earth anymore. We're on Saturn. Um, what? That's really far. All right. While this is playing, I just want to say that uh, thank you for watching. I will continue part two, uh, maybe in a few days. I hope you guys like this game, because I, I do. I'm definitely going to be playing this. This is... I feel smart, you know? It's like a puzzle game, kind of like escape room -y, Kind of like uh, Simon Says. And you just interact with the keyboard and the mouse, but... I think it's really unique. Really unique gameplay. Really, you know... Engaging story. We're a space station. We're the AI in a space station, and we have to help these astronauts. Whew. It's a bit scary, a bit cool. But yeah, anyways, uh, I'll, I'll be doing some more YouTube videos, at least for this series. We'll try and finish the series. Thing is that uh, the stream is off the table for now. I don't want to stream and disconnect every few minutes. I feel bad for you guys. I feel bad for myself. It's a horrible feeling. So I'm going to go uh, do some YouTube videos. Maybe I'll try and do some Warzone highlights. Because, you know, that's my main game. We got Warzone. We play some Apex. But anyways, let's uh, let's finish Observation. Because this is, this is a really sick game so far. So, yeah. Thank you so much. I'll see you in part two.